my purple banditos and welcome back to more let's play pokemon sun and moon i'm purple rodri last time we went ahead and caught a new pokemon canary and added it to our team in today's episode we're gonna go ahead and follow lily to the professor's lab you can only reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here he says you can research moves better when he's so surrounded by pokemon okay so let's go ahead and check out the tall grass since i'm not a trainer though i have to rely on using repels all the time you do know that using repels keeps pokemon from attacking right okay well is she gonna give us some repels and oh it looks like we found out what nebby actually is oh i, I mean cosmog cosmog seems to be a very rare pokemon it came from far far away it seems to have a very strange power he used that power to save me once when i was in danger but some other people want cosmog for themselves to use that power that's why only the professor and kahuna Hala and other people i can trust know about it can you keep a secret can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge, please? Okay, so she definitely doesn't want anybody finding out about Nebby. And if that's a Pokemon that is really rare and has some crazy powers, it makes a lot of sense why she wouldn't want to tell anyone. Imagine the type of teams. We've seen a lot of evil teams out there that would really come flying for a Pokemon that is just unknown. So let's go ahead and see what we're taking on here. Let's send out GA. And GA needs to, you know, get to work here. We're going up against a Grubbin. And awesome. It looks like we also, if you guys remember, got Peck. So now we're going to be much better off in the adventure. I believe we started off quite well. Also, thank you guys so much for all your tips and your comments. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big like. I'm going to go ahead and hit this little Grubbin with one more Peck. You guys have also left me a lot of comments on what sort of team we should build and i'm telling you guys i am reading through all of them and you guys have gave me some really amazing suggestions it's wonderful to see these teams that you guys come up with and i hope you know it really does pay off when we have it completely built with that we defeated youngster kevin a lot of youngsters here on this island you know a lot of young kids getting pokemon so let's keep on going through here you know that's the cool thing though i think that if we were in a world with pokemon i feel like younger kids would definitely connect a lot with pokemon i was actually just walking rush outside and this little kid comes up to me just riding his bike and he's like hey can i pet the puppy i'm like yeah sure no problem man and you know he rush started like jumping on him rush was almost bigger than him you know at this point because he's growing so fast he's probably like 25 30 pounds so then he starts like jumping off the kid like licking his face and i'm like you know rush is a good boy whenever he sees strangers he's really great to them but you know then i bring him back inside and uh, he just destroys my life but <laughs> you know that's all a good fun puppy teething and you know it's really good i definitely think that kids and pokemon would go hand in hand that's definitely something that would be really cool i know if i was a kid again what i would have given to grow up in the world of pokemon i think having a pokemon at my side it'd be like my best friend you know it'd be someone you can trust you can travel around with someone who will grow up with you i've actually thought about that before how e even in the anime they actually have times where ooh, let's keep on battling though where you have these trainers who grow and get old with their pokemon for example the one pikachu trainer he had that old pikachu and you just see like their relationship they must have like some really crazy bond considering everything that they went through and it's just really amazing to think about that you know these pokemon would grow with them i hope that someday we do end up getting some pokemon of our own guys that would be a dream come true so far you know the technology is getting there we got virtual reality we got a bunch of crazy things who knows if we could end up getting pokemon someday all right green arrow what's going on green arrow what's going on today green arrow i want you to hit this leafage man oh man if we get knocked out by a wingle here on like one of the first couple of routes it's gonna be a real good time you guys know that confusion is probably the most annoying status effect that i go up against it is really annoying to go up against so i just hope that we'll be able to clutch through it let's see you know we i'm actually kind of surprised that we're battling wingles and stuff we haven't really seen that many alolan pokemon hopefully once we get to where we need to wherever that is we will see more of them i want to explore all of these pokemon i would just find out more about them and see what else there is we can do oh my goodness could we he is oh he is knocking us out right now and finally at least we hit the leafage it's probably not gonna do that much it's doing a little something you know i'll go ahead and take that let's go for the tackle then 
This is probably the toughest battle that we've had. You know, I was saying that Pokemon did seem to be a the Pokemon seemed to be a little bit lower level at the start, but now I can see where we're going. We're definitely starting to pick up quite a bit. I'm gonna go hit this last leafage, and then hopefully we'll be able to progress onwards to wherever that is. Okay, come on, man. Come on. I also asked you guys what kind of Pokemon you're excited for here in Rolola. And I got to tell you guys, there's one Pokemon that I'm really, really excited for. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to find it very, very soon. I've mentioned who my favorite Pokemon are before. I love grass types. I love fire types. I love electric types. And, you know, I have a bunch of different Pokemon that fit under those categories. So we will have to see which ones I can find here. And with that, guys... Well, we defeated whoever this trainer is. What does this say over here? Trainer tips. Oh, wow. Thanks for the trainer tips. I love the trainer tips, man. I don't know about you guys, but the trainer tips are always off the chart, and it looks like we have made it. Whoa. Okay. Are they in there sumo wrestling too? Is this what, the, what I had to go through? Oh, yeah. Rock rough. Let's go. Give it everything you got. My body is ready. Woo. Okay. The, Kakoi actually reminds me of myself. I feel like I rough house with Rush all the time. That's what he's doing in there. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Okay, should we get in there? Should we, should we step inside? This house is about to, okay, all right. I don't know what's going on, I'm worried. Should we go in there, Lily? The professor! He never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm not good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. What's up, Kakoi? What have you guys been up to in here, man? You have a aquarium? He's got a love disc in his aquarium? Hey there, Audrey. Thanks for getting for me, Lily. Of, of course. However, I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rocker's moves were just so Stalin, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Rodri, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? So, what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? Yeah, this is actually pretty good, man. I'm, you know, very, uh, very nice place you got here. That's not what I called you here. Here, it finally arrived. It... What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Ooh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Ooh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residents in machines. Yeah, buddy, and to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work is the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Whoa! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now, if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. This is so cool. Rotom, here, boy. I powered up your favorite decks. Give Roger here a helping hand, yeah? Okay, yeah, Rotom. Oh, he's gonna join us? This is awesome. He's putting him inside of the Pokedex, and that is so freaking cool. Look at that Pokedex just floating around, and there we have it, guys. Now, we have our Pokedex on the bottom screen, as you are able to tell. See, Rodri? Now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Rodri hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him this special Rodom Dex to help him navigate around. Okay, thank you very much, and nice to meet you, Rodom. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Alola! The Salty Breeze sang me to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Okay, so how is surprised about this place? I gotta tell you, I definitely was too. Man, what is going on with Kikoi? Did he win the Indigo League? Is that a loft? That's awesome. No, it's 
stone is private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Rodri? How? And I actually really like that. I definitely agree with that. And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Rodri, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Rodri, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. Island Challenge, your chance to become the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge Champion! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, and a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it's said you must clear seven trials. Rodri, I want you and Rolette to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon strings, yeah. Okay, then yeah, I'll do it. Oh yeah, someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves. I really want to see you out there, meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everybody on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. I got one for my gramps too. All right then, Rodri, you too, Hal. Get a move on. All right, man, we'll head out of here too. To the trainer school. You gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, huh? I'm good. I just wanna play with my Pokemon. I mean, I train with them, right? The Island Challenge. So these are the people who will connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Roger, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom. Help him find his way around. So with that, guys, it looks like we have our decks now. He's like, give me a little poke in the middle of my map, but not too hard. All right, I'm going to give him a little poke. And there we go. Wow. Okay, so now we have access to a lot more information. Oh, my goodness. This is actually really, really great. I'm sure this is going to help us out quite a bit. And that's what I'm all about. If the game's going to give us a map, we will make sure to use that. Pokemon are totally necessary partners in my research. Plus, we all live here together. I guess I'd have to call them my family. Oh, that's really, really awesome. And I got to tell you, I definitely feel that way about pets too. And look, Kakoi's just over here doing his thing with his Pokemon. What a great guy. He really seems to know what he's doing. Let's go ahead and make our way out of here then and see what else we can find. Ooh, okay. This is awesome. He has a bunch of different Pokemon here. Uh, some Pokeballs just chilling, some Love Disc and Tank. I guess he just really likes to test out the Love Disc. Pokemon moves, Pokemon moves can divide it into three broad categories. Okay, so I suppose this is just the library. What is in this box? Ooh, electrical appliances. Maybe something for the Rotom. And here's Kakoi's PC. There's a, what did it say? Is a picture of some Pokemon like you've never seen before on this screen? I hope we get to find that Pokemon because who knows what that Pokemon could actually be. Okay, now I think we're just about done here. So let's go ahead and make our way out and let's see where Lily is. Hello? Lily? Okay, I'm pretty sure Lily just ditched us and she made her way back to town. So now we are going to go ahead and make our way back to town as well. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Maybe we'll bump into a rare Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, we'll bump into something that we really want. Whoa, an Alolan Rattata. That's actually really great to see. Very cool that it's just hanging out here in the wild. But I'm going to keep on going. I definitely do want to add a bunch of Alolan Pokemon to our team. So I'm going to keep looking around and see what we can find. I think it'll be uh, really great to do that. So let's just go ahead and get out of here. I definitely think Rattatas, they have their pros to them. But it's just not a Pokemon that I think I'll be using on my team. Is he seriously not letting us get out of here either? Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's continue on. We'll probably be getting the repels really soon too. So I'm sure we'll be able to... You know, avoid a couple of these battles every other two steps. No big deal. Oh, a Wingle. Okay, so at least we're getting a look at some of the other Pokemon that are here. Definitely random. I gotta say that. I suppose they're a little bit close to the shore. So that could be why the Wingles are just over here chilling. All right, Wingle. What is up with these Pokemon? They're just critting me left and right. They just really want to take down the Green Arrow. What is up with that? Everybody wants to take down the Green Arrow. And we are good to go. So let's see where exactly it is we need to go now. We battled this guy. We surely probably battled this person. We're back home here. 
but I wonder if we can actually make our way to the next place, which I'm guessing is probably where we need to go. Let's see. Oh, look at the bottom of the map. There's a little, little red flag. Okay, what is the red flag? Oh, that is definitely something strange. Let's go ahead and check that out. That's probably going to take us in the right direction. Hold on a moment. Let me show you the Pokemon Center first. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are, you know, I got a little gel in my hair, you know, get through on a little cologne. How's it going? Good looking? Yeah, you know, I've just been uh, wandering around the region. I just got myself a uh, Rotom Dex. You know, if you want to give me your number from your Rotom, you know, I'll get my Rotom to call your Rotom. Maybe we can set some up through the Rotoms. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, great. So, the Pokemon Center is located here, and it looks like the PC is to the right of it. We also have the Mart that's going to be here, and I am all about that. Put everything in one place, and there's the cafe. Ooh, with a frosty glass of Moo Moo Milk. So, they've gone ahead and put the cafe in here as well. I'm happy about that. I read something in a travel guide about Lola once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. Ooh, okay, so we'll definitely have to purchase a couple things from them. She wants to take us through the trainer school next. But let me go ahead and actually take a look around the Pokemon Center before we go any further. Hey, what's up? You want to check out my Pokemon, Nurse Joy? You want to check out my Pokemon? Okay, we only have two Pokemon right now. Yeah, nothing too flashy yet, Nurse Joy. Nothing too flashy yet. And let's talk to him. You can have six Pokemon with you on your team when you're walking around. Okay, cool. Maybe, just maybe, we can buy some repels here at the Mart. Come on. Yeah. All right. We're good. We're already in the repel game. That's what I'm talking about. So it's going to throw repels right at us from the get-go. That's something that I definitely will make sure to use. Uh, let me go ahead and actually pick up an escape rope, too. And a couple potions. Well, who might kidding we have a ton of potions they've given us way too many potions in this game one escape rope yeah i'll take that i'll take that you know maybe uh maybe an awakening you never know you yeah, i could be you know there has been an awakening that that's what it is we'll, we'll go ahead and check that out and then last but not least we have the cafe so let's check it out what you got for sale here in the cafe my man lemonade moo moo milk yeah, I got, you know, I'm gotta buy me a Moo Moo Milk. We're definitely gonna pick one of those up. Even if we do have a bunch of potions, Moo Moo Milks, you know, very good. They're gonna heal you up. And here you are, one Moo Moo Milk just for you. Wait, what? Yeah, so it's not actually a treat? He actually gave me a drink. You cannot connect with other trainers anytime. There's an exclamation symbol. Okay. Well, thanks, man. I guess he's just gonna give us one tea a day. And this is authentic food from Eterna City in the Sinnoh region. Oh, wow. Well, the Sinnoh region is definitely one of my favorite regions. So I suppose it's great that we got ourselves that. We also got some Poke Beans. They're a specialty in Alola, and Pokemon love to eat them. I did see a little bit about the Poke Beans. I'm pretty sure if you go to the whole little, you know, pet your Pokemon thing, which I'll actually go ahead and do. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of new stuff here. The Festival Plaza. They've been adding a lot as we've been going. This is cool. Okay, so if we go to the Pokemon Refresh, I'm pretty sure that's where this whole bean thing is. And if I'm right, the bean things are probably going to be something like Pokeblocks, where it helps you power up your Pokemon. Yeah, you can see that in the top left of the bottom box. And there are the beans right there. I don't know. You know, I'm not trying to get these every flavor beans. I've eaten too much of those. I actually just had a couple of those the other day. And the first flavor I bit into was puke i i don't even know guys i'm not eating those uh, you know harry potter every flavor beans again they get pretty nasty and you know you see the little green one you're like oh this is gonna be delicious nah it turns out to be snot that is what happens half the time here we are you see the trainer school is it's uh what in the world oh man i already got beat down by a roulette we got ruck rough over there tearing up Kakoi. Now we got a Taurus coming at us? But we were planning, planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. Okay, that's awesome. She's like, well, yeah, whatever. She's like, yeah, there's, it's chilling there. Just leave it there. And it looks like everybody is here. Hey there, Rodri. I must pass you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to become a Pokemon trainer. Is, a Kukoi. is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, Teach. Four trainers. 
You've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Rodri. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Oh, yes! Yes! Thank you so much! Thank you! Kakoi, you are my favorite professor now. He has given us the XP share early, and that is going to help us out so much. If you keep that XP share on you, all the Pokemon on your team can get XP points from battle. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. So with that, guys, it looks like we have arrived at the trainer school, and we're going to have to battle four trainers. One of our students is even a captain. Wow. So they have been teaching some really fantastic stuff here at this school. I mean, how do we, you know, how do we get enrolled here? Let's go ahead and see if we can find these trainers then. Ooh, let's go ahead and find this. A potion. That is all this game is seriously giving us his potions and i believe this is going to be our first battle so let's go ahead and take on the first of four trainers four something about that number seems to really pop out here in this region i feel like they keep bringing that number up so maybe that'll have to do something as we go we got pick a peck we're going up against we're gonna throw out you know the green arrow that's what i'm talking about and let's see what we can do against this pick a peck you know what we are going to go ahead and go for a little sum. Let's see what the tackle is going to do to this. I really like the new interface too. I love the fact that it shows you which moves are super effective and everything on the bottom of the screen. I feel like that's something that should have been implemented a really long time ago. There are so many Pokemon at this point that, yeah, you really sometimes just got to hope for the best and, you know, uh, pick a move, take a guess. <laughs> I feel like that's how it is. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what we can do. We are about to take this Pokemon down. Let's see how much Peck's going to do to it. Probably probably not a whole lot, to be honest with you. Or we are about to get critted out. Okay, with that, the pick a peck so close to going down. I am going to go ahead and use a potion, though, since this is the first of many battles. And I want to make sure we stay alive. I do need to activate the XP share, too. I'll do it after this one so we can get Green Arrow up to level 10. We just need our guy to tank this out. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, what is up with this Pokemon? He's actually really freaking fast. Let's go ahead and just use one more potion just to be safe to make sure Green Arrow doesn't get knocked out. And now we'll pretty much be back at full health. Okay, there we go. Just hold on to the peck, man. Please, no crits. Okay, once in a while, I don't get hit with a crit and I feel pretty good. So let's finish this off with a peck. And after this, we should be pretty good to go. Don't really know how much stronger the trainers are going to get here at the trainer school we're starting at level eight so let's just hope it's not too much further with that guys we gained a bunch of xp we are at level 10 now very cool and the rest of our team gain xp there we go canary grew to level four and i feel like canary is going to be able to catch up really really fast with this xp share system i actually really like this xp share system it's just nice and fair to everyone so let's go ahead and continue on then and see if we can find the other trainers, which should be inside of the school. We already took down the first one. Maybe there's another one out here. There probably is. There we go. So let's go ahead and challenge the next trainer. Nope, he is not a trainer. He's actually standing out here, just chilling and hanging out. I see that Pokeball over there. Why is it looking all shiny? Why, why is it looking all shiny? Ooh, okay. Let's go through the fence then. And this is actually a really, really big trainer school then. Let's see if this is him. Okay, he's going to teach us the tactics because this is number two. Let's go ahead and battle the second guy then. And here we go. Ooh, he is ready to battle Youngster Joey. Oh, man. Youngster Joey with the Metapod. The high percentage Metapod. Look at this guy. Oh, my goodness, Youngster Joey. You got to calm down. There are other gym leaders and trainers around here, man. Your level of strategy is way too above and beyond what we have going on here right now this guy he is just unbelievable sometimes i gotta tell you youngster joey this man knows how to battle if you want to take lessons this is who you take it from and there we go guys the metapod has gone down we're gonna gain some xp and canary's gonna keep growing levels hopefully canary will be caught up by next time that would actually be really really good okay we're at number two and he's just telling us about you know paralyzing opponent status effects and i definitely want to find what this item is down here that's why i came here a paralysis heal there we go we're gonna have to head inside now too 
because that's where they told us the rest of them are. Ooh, an antidote. I'm actually pretty glad I didn't end up buying those. So that worked out pretty freaking good for me. Let's make our way inside of the house then, guys. And hopefully the other two trainers will be inside of there. And maybe they won't even be that difficult. And maybe. Who is this? What's up? What's up, Teach? Okay, he is just chilling over here. He's probably, you know, a substitute teacher. She's over here reading a couple books. Uh, you know, she's over here petting her Pokemon. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Pokemon, she's over here, you know, talking about peepees. And, uh, last but not least, we got, uh, someone talking about, uh, Pokeballs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make our way out of here. And let's see <laughs> where we could go. Who is this? Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not now, it would probably get a kick out of this one. Oh, yeah, the Quick Claw. Wow. Holy crap. I cannot believe we just got the Quick Claw that quickly. Oh, wow. I am very happy about that. And let's keep on looking. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make my way to the second room. Stand close and want to battle you? Is this what you want? Yeah, okay. We'll definitely battle you. We'll battle anyone that we can here in the trainer school. Now that we have the XP share, I'm going to be battling everything I can. That's the great part about, you know, X and Y and onwards when they started releasing all these quality of life updates. It really has helped out so much and made Pokemon so nice. Ooh, we're going up against a little Bonsly. I'm going to go for the Leafage. Hopefully the Bonsly doesn't have anything that is, uh... You know, gonna do too much damage. Copycat! Oh, that's awesome! I also really like the way these Pokemon look. Oh, man. Just wait till we see the fully evolved Pokemon. The legendaries. The story. Oh, I, I can't even wait. I'm so excited to get to that point. I'm always a big fan of stories. I love listening to them. I love hearing stories, whether it's from people, games, books, whatever it is. So I just can't wait to find out where this one's going to lead us. Ooh, Astonish. Yeah, let's actually forget a move for Astonish. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Growl. I really haven't been using Growl a lot. I don't really use it too much anyways. So let's keep on going with that. We gain some XP. Canary. There we go. Level 6. Once Canary gets around to level 8 or 9, I uh, feels well, a good point where we can start using it. So there we go. Let's head upstairs then and see what we can find inside of the trainer school. Hey, what's up? Part of this lesson may be inside or outside the school. Okay. Well, I already battled three of them. So who is she talking to? What if I'm supposed to beat like every single trainer inside of here? This guy's over here with a little slow poke. That's so cool that people keep Pokemon as pets. I wish I could have Pokemon as pets. That, I would be the crazy Pokemon, you know, gentleman. I suppose that's what you would call it, right? Okay. All Pokemon some sort of ability. What's up? What are you guys learning in here? All right, the other people, I don't know what they were learning in their classroom. What are you guys learning up here? Yeah, definitely take the potion. It's always good to look around too, guys, at the beginning of the game. This is what you're going to want to do to make sure you get everything. And I think that is just about it. We are not going to be doing a whole lot here. So we're going to find the last trainer, which I'm pretty sure is going to be one floor higher up, right? We can't go through the steel door. So let's make our way. What? Are you serious? I can't go to the third floor? Then where the heck am I supposed to find this freaking last trainer? What do they want me to do? What do they want from me? Okay, we actually got to head back down then and find the trainer, I suppose. There's probably going to be one hiding somewhere around here, right, guys? Hey, any trainers over here? Anybody trying to, uh, you know, Pokemon battle? Anybody out here trying to get a little shindig? Anybody out here trying to, you know? Okay, guys, so now that we've gone ahead and defeated the first three, we've come back here outside and we are ready to take on the captain. You want to know why I want to be the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong, duh. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus the captain of the Pokemon school. We're challenged by rising star Joseph. So let's go ahead and see what Joseph has here. Joseph's going to send out a Grimer. Okay. What? Oh, my is that an Alolan Grimer? Oh, man. That is so freaking cool. Where can we find this thing? For a second, I was like, "This is this a shiny? But dang, this looks so amazing. He poisoned us? Okay, probably a good thing that we did end up picking all those other little, uh, you know, pick-me-ups up. Let me go ahead and actually look through our items then. Ooh, the old gateau. 
Uh, yeah, we'll definitely want to use that some other time. We're going to go ahead and use the antidote, though. The antidote is something that we're definitely going to need to defeat this guy. So there we go, Green Arrow. And we, we are going to have to survive one more hit, too. And let's see what Grimer is going to go ahead and do. Okay, Grimer, power yourself up, man. I see you doing that. So he's going to go ahead and do that. We are going to go ahead and, uh, you know, mess around with him. We're going to try to pack a little bit of punches around here and do a little bit of damage to this guy, which is definitely going to be difficult. Difficult. We're down to 4 HP. Okay, I need to heal up our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and just use one of our... 20 potions that they have given us we might as well use them here in this game right that's why they gave them to us because these battles are going to be a little bit tough here at the start okay grimer you oh man oh you know who taught him you guys already know who taught him you guys already know who taught him yep youngster joey because he's going over here and using the hardening technique and you know the hardening thing and uh, this is this is how it's gonna go I see you, youngster Joey, spreading your, you know, amazing knowledge to so many people. Keep up the great work. This is actually going to take a while. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, so after a while of being stalled out by this Grimer, getting a couple hits in, using potions when I can, this Grimer is really weakening us down. He is really packing a punch. It's a difficult thing to take him down, but I'm just going to keep on going for now. I believe in our team. Right now, even if Green Arrow ends up going down... I feel pretty good that another one of our Pokemon is going to be able to step it up. So let's go ahead and do what we can. Let's hit one more Leafage. And that is going to go ahead and probably... Ooh. All right, there we have it. So Green Arrow was taken down by this crazy Grimer. Let's go ahead and sound out the Canary then. And let's sound... You know, let's see if Canary will be able to finish this up. If Canary does, that could be some serious damage. That could be some really amazing damage which i'll be very very happy about i'm actually gonna go ahead and drop a couple growls too because this guy has actually been hitting really hard so far and i don't want him to absolutely crush us like he's doing oh my goodness gracious i got this i'm gonna go ahead and heal up canary hope that he lands a harden or you know something of that sort and then we will go off of that this is the moment we've been waiting for guys oh my goodness ouch man that freaking hurts Okay, this is good. This is good. All right, Canary. Hit a crit for us. Hit a crit for us, Canary. We believe in you. Come on. Oh, we are one hit away. Oh! Ah! What is going on? Okay, we're going for it. We are going for it. We're maniacs. And there we go, guys. With that, we have gone ahead and took down the Grimer. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Canary did it, gained a bunch of XP, we grew to level 7, and Canary learned Echoed Voice as well. Awesome, we defeated Rising Star Joseph. It's extremely frustrating, but you're stronger than me. We received 384 for winning. Uh, now that wasn't cool at all, maybe I should aim for being witty instead, but fine, whatever. I can admit it when I'm beat. So with that, guys, we obtained TM01 Workup, and that's going to be a really great TM for us. Okay, first thing to know about TMs, technical machines. Okay, you know, thank you. I think we know, man. We just defeated you in battle. You know, couldn't you give us a little props? Couldn't you, you know, tell us that we just, you know, came through, defeated your Grimer? Ooh, that's the school bell. Attention all students. Would Rodri please come to the office on 2F? Rodri to the 2F office, please. What a terrible thing did you get to get called to the office so soon? Uh, I didn't do anything, man. Here's what you say. Okay. So with that, guys, we are done here for today. Next time, we will continue from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Give the video a big like. It really means a lot to me, all the comments you guys give me. And I cannot wait to continue on with this adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.